Leo, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early January 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Leo Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends, as we start a new calendar year. Let's see what's happening, my guides. Talk to me about these beautiful Leos please and thank you. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Leo in early January. Please and thank you. What's going on with my friends? Okay, we've been having some interesting readings the past couple of weeks. Okay, I saw once again a similar thing and it's like Aries and Leo are best friends zodiacally because there's always a link between the two readings at least in my style but this is a very fun type of card I saw the same thing in Aries where a lot of you might need to cut loose or maybe you're having fun with something we'll have to look into that a little further before we do though if you're new here I'll be speaking about the January subscriber surprise towards the end so you might want to check that out also if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk about this card so aesthetically this is a really cute type of card we see that snow globe there's like this unicorn or this pony on the top of the card there's various different toys so whenever this card pops up i feel like oh that's fun Okay, so for some of you, if you've been going through some tough times or serious times, you might need to cut loose, even if you've been in the house more than normal, right? Like when I see this card, it is somebody that needs to have a little bit of fun, whatever fun is to you. And I say people have fun in all different ways and places and times, right? Some people like being in the house, chilling out, watching TV and doing this and that. Some people need to go out into nature. Some people want to go dance and whatever it might be, you need to have a little bit of fun here. Now, the caveat with this card, it could represent somebody having a little bit too much fun, okay? So you just analyze what your current situation is. It could even be a person you're connected to where it's like they're always partying or they're not taking something seriously. So just take that information and that message however, however it hits for you. If you've been like very work oriented, all work and no play makes you a dull boy or gal, right? So you might need to have fun or tell someone to tone it back. Let's just put it down right there. Let's get into tarot now. And I always say this first card over here, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's get you three tarot cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. So let's shuffle it up here for the lovely Leos. Please, my guides, talk to me. And while we get this deck ready, let's talk about last week's reading. As I was mentioning a little earlier, it was an intriguing one. Last week's reading was titled A Big Rejection. Okay, now that doesn't mean someone's going to come and reject you or you might reject a person. Rejections, once again, that comes in all different shapes and sizes, right? Whether it's rejecting a certain behavior, whether it's rejecting a certain thought process or a certain energy. But it was showing up in the energy last week and that could still bleed over into the coming days and weeks. So keep that in mind. All right, I was seeing it. But let's see what happens this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get you three cards. What's happening with my Leos, please? Okay. Yeah, things could be improving. This is an action card. Maybe you're taking a trip. I like this card. Generally, right? Because I feel like it ties into the very first card we had. Whether it's advice or someone doing too much of something as well what is all this movement this action it feels very sporadic to me we have the eight of cups and it's like this one energy is chasing the other one down okay let's let's keep going the way the energy is sweeping it's like this one's in pursuit it's like hot pursuit let's get one more one more for leo thank you two of swords so yeah the unexpected this is all internal energy as well so yeah we're gonna have a lot to really like break apart and decode here leo because i feel like there's layers on layers on layers in this reading so let's go through i'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes then we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff but if you kindly look here in the box at first look first glance elementally these are all internal energies i'm seeing here so we have the double swords on the ends with the two swords the uh, six of swords and we have the eight of cups in the middle i always say when it comes to the air and the water those represent internal energy so 
cups represent feelings. The swords represent thoughts. There's communication as well. But the way the energy is sweeping, I, once again, I feel like this is in pursuit of something. Okay, so whether you're in pursuit of a goal, whether someone's in pursuit of you, we'll just have to see. Let's go through and with the unknown energy on the back end, yeah, it's going to be layered. But let's start at the beginning and build this whole story out. Position number one, we have the Six of Swords, generally a beautiful type of card. So once again, it is action-based. So whether it's someone making a move, taking an action, this could imply travel. This could imply distance as well because they're literally going on a trip. The main overarching theme or energy of this card does represent improvement or things getting better as well. So for a lot of you, this could be good action. This could be good movement or things improving in a very positive way. Could be something you're headed towards or someone headed towards you when we have this energy. Now, I did say in the very beginning, it ties into what we saw with the first card because it could be someone doing a little too much or a little too little of something when we have the Six of Swords. Every card has a positive and a challenge. A challenge with this card could represent a person you're connected to that's not doing what they're supposed to, right? They're not they're not following up with their responsibilities or they're just very lackadaisical, right? Like they're just la 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 la. Like they're, it's not a serious type of energy. It's very flighty. So we'll see what's up with that. Or someone that's just neglecting doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, so I do feel like it does tie into that very first card in the beginning. Now moving to the center, another strong action-based type of card. We have the Eight of Cups. This card gets a bit of a bad reputation in tarot, and I don't always link it to that. What I'm picking up most in this is all this mystery on the back end, because this card is at nighttime as well. It also has a moon that does imply the unknown. But when we see this card, the first thing we think of is somebody walking away from something, okay? Like literally this person's walking away from those cups. To me, I see it more as just an action card. So we have action, we have action. I'm still getting this pursuit type of energy. So whether it's you pursuing your goals, it's there's some sort of big pursuit here that we'll need to look into further. Maybe there is a rejection of some sort, like we saw last week when we have the Eight of Cups. We'll have to dig into it a little bit deeper when we see what's up. But once again, remember, this could just be action in general. Could be going towards something, putting energy out towards something. So we'll see what's happening here. Because it's not necessarily a terrible energy. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Once again, though, a, a rough energy with the both two front end cards could be somebody abandoning something or not doing what they're supposed to be doing. So we'll see what's up. Now, on to the back end, we have the Two of Swords. Classically, this card means a lot of things. Now, all twos in tarot could represent decisions, choices, being at a crossroads. They could represent partnerships as well. This card could represent confusion. A lot of readers do read it like that, and I do as well sometimes. It's like, all right, well, I don't understand why this is happening, or I don't understand their motives, or it could be some sort of hidden type of information type uh, energy as well. But since this person is hoodwinked and blindfolded and the moon is out, to me, this just represents the surprising or unexpected. So especially with all the stuff we have going on here, all the different actions and pursuit, to end it off with like, a surprise or an unexpected energy. I'm really intrigued to see how it all plays out, okay? Sometimes this could be a person that has very big difficulties making a choice or a decision as well, but we're not just going to lean into that energy alone. We'll see what's happening. I want to dive deeper on all of it, Leo. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for the Leos, please. Let's see what's going on for my friends. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on at Six of Swords? What's this action about? What is this action about? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Leo, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, Six of Swords time. Let's see what's happening. Thank you. Tower in reverse. This is an avoidant type of energy here. Okay, so for some of you, this could be either a really good energy or a really avoidant energy. You might be dealing with an individual that is very avoidant. Okay, like remember I did say there's like just so much action, very sporadic, and we'll see how it all ends up. But we do have the tower here, even though it's in reverse. Now the tower in reverse is the best way we want to receive this card. 
as you know in tarot, these represent shock, it represents surprise, it represents the foundation being shaken up. And I always say towers, they're not all bad. So when I see it in reverse, I'm getting a couple of different things. For some of you, if you've been through a tower moment in recent history, okay, if you've recently had a tower, a, a surprise, a shock, something that shook your foundation, this could be a very healing type of energy for some of you. But at the same time, I'm getting an avoidant individual here in the front end. So if you're dealing with a person that avoids their feelings, avoids talking about this, there's just something about avoiding, okay? You might be avoiding a person for all I know. We'll see how it plays out as we move through. But the tower is some sort of shock. I would say the third message I could give here is someone might do something where it's like, all right, that's shocking, but I'm not surprised. You, you ever know when someone does that? It's like, all right, well, damn, you actually did it. Or you really just did that. Like, I knew you had it in you, but I didn't think you would do that. So I would say watch out for shocking actions as well. Let's keep moving over. I don't want to get too tied up here. I gave like three different messages already. So just take whatever hits for you. But yeah, it could be a shocking action for sure. Or an avoidant person. It's like, it's, yeah, very confusing. It's, yeah, we have it on the back end. So let's see why that Eight of Cups is here. We'll build it all together once we have the full picture. So let's see why that Eight of Cups is in the mix. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, there's the rejection I saw last week. So we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse underneath this Eight of Cups. It's like, all right, well, whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. Like, it's giving me that energy. For some of you, yeah, you might be dealing with somebody that's like pitching things to you. Once again, I have this pursuit type of energy. So I, I would watch out for any direct sales in this time where... You might have someone who's trying to pitch you something or sell you something. It's like, eh, no thanks. I am picking up this rejection still, okay? And it's very strong, just like it was last week. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, when it shows up in reverse, it could be someone willingly pushing something away. So some of you might have an individual that's pushing you away purposely. And with all these actions under here, I'm also getting the vibe of somebody you might feel like they don't know what's best for them. Like, all right. You should take this Ace of Pentacles. If you know what's good for you, you would take this Ace of Pentacles. And you're like, yeah, no thanks. I don't want your advice. I don't want this. I don't want that. So you might be dealing with a very difficult individual as well. And once again, only take what hits for you. Obviously, not every single Leo is dealing with an avoidant, difficult, difficult individual. But there is this energy of like, all right, what you're selling, I'm not buying. This energy of rejection is still here. Okay, so even if that didn't happen to you in the past week or so, you might be called upon to say, eh, no thank you to something, right? Even if you're a cross watcher, it could be the same. So let's keep moving, okay? Especially with the possible shocking action in the front end. Now this, it's like, all right, yeah, I've seen enough type of energy. Let's go in on that two of swords. And we'll really put the whole thing together, right? Could be one person, separate people. You know how it all goes. So let's see what that two of swords has to say. Because it could be an outcome that you weren't seeing as well so why is that two of swords in the mix why is two of swords here thank you yeah all right so we do have the nine of wands very difficult energy here we have the nine of wands in the upright underneath this two of swords uh, fire air combination on the back end very volatile so that does feed in more to the unexpected I would say for a lot of you watch out for unexpected problems or I feel like I've seen that for you in like recent weeks and months but once again it's showing up once again it's like this repetitive theme that we're picking up within even the reading itself now the nine of wands is the wounded warrior Okay, this is somebody that does not want to get caught off guard. This is someone that does not like the hidden and secrets and the unknown. It's like, no, I want some predictability here. I'm on guard. I've seen a lot of things. I've been through a lot of things. That's what this energy represents. And it could be blockages. So for some of you, there could be an unexpected block or an unexpected blockage or problem here. What I'm seeing on the back end. Okay. And it makes sense with what I'm seeing here in the front end and here. It's like, all right this individual could be saying enough is enough on the back end it's like they've I, I, they're dealing with all they could have dealt with it's like all right 
I, I just, I can't take any more of something. So they're putting a the wall up here. Okay, so take that for whatever it's worth, whether it is communication, whether it's literal, whether it's figurative, there could be an un unexpected block or an unexpected problem happening here. So let's go through and do a quick recap. Such a, a sporadic scattered type of reading we have this week, Leo. And I will say this, in recent weeks and months, a lot of the readings have been focused on other individuals, not quite yourself. But let's go through piece by piece. Position number one, we do have the Six of Swords and the Tower in reverse. And I did say since the very beginning, I was getting like a pursuit type of energy where there might be a goal you're pursuing or there's something being pursued here. But the front end, the Six of Swords with the Tower in reverse could be very healing for a lot of you. If you've recently been through a tower, you could be feeling better or starting to feel better. For another portion of you, this could be a shocking action of some sort where somebody does something. And it's like, all right, I knew you had it in you, but I wasn't expecting you to actually do it. It's like giving me that vibe as well. So take from it what you will. Moving to the center, we have the Eight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And it was like, I, I said it several times, what you're selling, I'm not buying. There's this energy of a rejection here in the center. Okay, so take from that what you will, whether it's something you need to reject or you know how it all works. On to the back end, we have the Two of Swords with the Wounded Warrior, Nine of Wands, Fire, Air, Mixture. There could be unexpected blocks, blockages, or problems popping up when I see this. And I do feel like somebody, it's like, all right, I've taken all I can take type of energy. So you might get fed up with someone or something in the coming days and weeks or vice versa. You know how it all goes, my friends. So please take a screenshot of that. Let's see what's in the shadows. I mean, <laughs> what can I say, my friends, right? Only take what's yours. But yeah, let's see what's happening in the shadows for Leo. Please. And yes, my friends, I always like to see what's in the shadows, whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. The shadow card doesn't always have to be a challenge. It could be a good thing too. So let's see what's happening. And yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. It is a beautiful way to support the channel and I love my channel members, all right? No pressure though. Let's see what's happening for the lovely Leos in the shadows. Thank you. Nice and quick. Page of Wands. Yeah, you could be having a lot of unexpected talks or there could be something you want to get off your chest. Something you might want to say to some somebody when we have the Page of Wands. Now, if you're a Leo, this Page of Wands in the shadows could represent something from childhood that's affecting you still. So obviously not every single Leo. But what do we think of with pages aside from youth and children? This is a big card of learning, but also communication and what you're putting your energy towards. So Spear could be telling you in this time, Leo, like, hey, don't waste your energy on certain things. Make sure you're conserving your energy. And if there's something you need to say or if there's a talk you need to have, have it. Don't suppress it. Because remember, this is a shadow card and it's the shadow portion of the reading. Okay. For some of you, once again, this could be surprising talks and conversations as well, especially with what we saw within the spread itself. So, yeah, that's what I have for you, Leo. I'm just going to leave that right over there. No need to complicate it. But yes, uh, don't click away just yet. I'm going to give you the details of the January subscriber surprise. For the January subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Tarot of the Owls Tarot deck. It's one of my favorite new decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments what are one of your biggest goals for this year that we just entered into? You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, I'll announce the winners in my community tab at random. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you again soon.